Hi everyone and welcome back to some Path of Exile Ultimatum League. We are on our um, Elementalist, on our Freezing Pulse Elementalist. We hit level 90, which is good. Um, the tree looks good so far. I'm happy. I'm happy with the jewels I have. Uh, two basic crit jewels with either double or triple crit stats on it, which is nice. The first snow we have to use, right? So... <laughs> Yeah, we are looking decent, um, 4000 health, almost 1500 ES, that needs to be the next upgrade, but I finally ended up crafting myself a spell crit chest. Now this one isn't that good, but it was like, it cost me almost all of my currency to craft this. Um, yeah, I'm down to 46 chaos, um, and that was on around 2x, so... <laughs> <laughs> it did cost a lot, it's okay though, I also invested into a level 21 freezing pulse to get a little bit more damage out of it, and that's all the preparations that I have been doing. Um, Cyrus is ready, and we are trying it on Awakening level 5, so yeah, let's see how this goes. I really hope that I can do this really this time around. This would work. Anything hasty. Destroying you is as easy as flicking a pest. No! Son of! Kirak! How boring and small. You want the Atlas? Take it! It's yours. But Orith? Orith, I will burn to the ground. Perhaps. What I also did was the fourth flap, actually, and I did go for Bastion of Elements. So, yeah, no longer do I need to not go into Ellie reflect maps, I can just run them normally, which is quite amazing, not gonna lie. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I am still nervous about this fight, to be ow, quite frank with you guys, but I think we are, we should actually be able to do not too badly. I also changed up my uh, anoint, and I guess we will talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, okay, that's not that much damage, right? But it's okay for now, honestly. That's around leak start damage that you can expect with this build. So I'm not too fussed about it. I think for uh, what I want to do with the build, this is perfectly fine. As I said, um, I would like to leak start with this next leak. And so far it does exactly what I want it to do, right? It gets me up to Cyrus and all it needs to do now is basically, ow, kill Cyrus for it to be pretty perfectly fine for what I have imagined in it. So yeah. Switching to a crit though, well, not to a crit but to a witch. The switch to crit as well though was uh, the right idea. The switch to the witch though is what really sold me on this build again. I just enjoy playing as a witch. You guys know that already about me, right? But also, leveling was fun, mapping was fun, and that's what this build primarily does, right? It is not a boss killer, and it doesn't have to be, right? This is, as I said, intended for leak starting, that means getting to the bosses, and for the kills, we probably will just have a secondary build in the next league. Um, like I almost always have, actually. I like to have a dedicated boss killer build that you whip out for the bosses. Ow, walked into that. That was my fault. I'm still standing in that somehow. Alright. 
Um, my buddy dropped a jewel that actually could be very helpful for us. Uh, it would give the golems life regen. Now, I mean, they just, they're just they gonna die, four seconds later they will be resummoned. That's, that's pretty much what's happened. Um, so yeah, in boss fights, you sometimes will have to wait for them to be resummoned. And that can be um, tricky, right? Because they give you a good damage buff, so yeah. I will heal, I will use a couple of flasks now as well, because I was like, okay, seems like a good damaging window, so let's make use of it. We need a bit of intensity on our freezing pulse to do really good damage, um, but that's okay, right? That is perfectly fine, we knew that from the beginning. I did pop a flask now that I did not meant to pop, but that happens from time to time. What you gonna do? Just have to accept it. Ow! Let's move the movement speed flask to get out of this. Or to get out of it pretty safely. We need the exposure, we need to have our curse on. And we need to be careful. Um, that was a bit too close for my liking, not gonna lie. <laughs> But that's okay. Um, we did pretty well so far. Yes, it takes time, and that's to be expected. It's okay. It is perfectly fine. I uh, I'm not too bothered with that. In all honesty. Ah, uh, that was bad timing to get into this. Ah, uh, actually, it's not that bad. Okay, this is him. Alright, let's try and keep track of him. That is the most important thing in this part of the fight. Um, let's get out of the meteor storm. Move back in as far as fast as we can, actually. So over here, teleport it up. Okay, there he is. Perfect. Let's get out of that. Uh, with the um, change in the um, anointment, uh, we actually now have Calling Strike, which is quite nice, not gonna lie. That means 10% Calling Strike. So just uh, the bare minimum that you can get. Still, I think it was a good change to make. Um, especially against Cyrus and other bosses. It will actually help us out big time, right? So you do pop one of our... <sighs> of our diamond flask charges there. Because I wanted to get a good amount of damage in. Same goes for now. Uh, we only have Calling Strike on Freezing Pulse though, so you need to keep that in mind. <laughs> um, which is sad, it would be nice if you could have used like the brand for that as well, but it's okay. Okay. Yeah, which is really want to get around, find him again. Ouch. Oh god. Oh wow, I was stationary for uh, quite a while there, that was scary. Not gonna lie. But we did it! <laughs> what?! 
Increased AOE! Oh boy. Oh boy, we did get the gloves. That's nice. I'm sorry. Awesome! Oh, we, we did it deathless! Wow! That wow! I am I'm blown away. Um So you could consider this not to really be leak start gear, right? The spell crit chest. But honestly, it took me around twenty etheric fossils to craft this. And I just let it there with the spell crit. Um so it's not yeah, it's not that good of a spell crit chest, is what I want to say. But, dude, I mean, this is honestly, that is enough for me. Oh, that's a nice watch stone. 15% increased pack size. Awesome. Sweet. So this is definitely, yeah, that makes it leak start viable for me. If I'm able to kill Cyrus with the build, it doesn't matter to me how long it takes, right? I... Do not care job. Um, if this takes some time, uh, especially on leak start. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Honestly, this is cool though. Awakened increased area of effect. That's really, really nice, actually. I love it. I seriously think that's a, an awesome gem to have. But yeah, that is... Wow, that went smooth. Honestly, that went a bit smoother than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> When I'm but ready. yeah, I mean, that is just, that is the um, Awakening level 5 Cyrus kill. For it to be viable for Awakening level 8 Cyrus though, we will need to invest more, obviously. But I mean, I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. It was able to take down Cyrus on level 90, which is achievable before you even meet him. Um... Yeah, I think the build did well, and I'm actually over the moon that it did so well. Um, we didn't even use Wild Righteous Fire, right? So <laughs> that was pretty awesome. And I think we will do a little cut here and see how much damage we actually did deal, right? So I will see you in Path of Building. All right, guys, we are in Path of Building, and... Um, my profile is actually public, so you can do this as well. You can take a look at all the characters that have survived um, or <laughs> that I didn't delete. Uh, so yeah, if you want to take a look at old like builds that I used and stuff, you find a couple of them in here. The only one that really... Ah, oh, well, no, that's not true. That's not true. There's a couple of them, like three of them that are pretty good still, but... We import the passive tree and jewels, as well as the items and skills. We switch this to our freezing pulse, and yeah, as I said, I did invest into a level 21 freezing pulse. No quality, but that did only cost like between 8 and 10 chaos. So yeah, that is a massive damage increase, and we will talk about how much this is later on. But for now, what I want to do is disable Val Righteous Fire, because we did not use that, right? So that's good. Um, if you calculate with one power charge, which is what we did have for the most part, with our Arcanist brand, we did get a couple more of them in. Let's see onto Cyrus. Um, we did chill him multiple times, which is good. We had like mostly intensity on one or two, right? So. We were on the verge of like almost 1 million normal DPS without the culling, so honestly that's that's quite nice. So if the Wrath Aura, that doesn't make up for too much, right? Which is okay. On one intensity, like the first cast, we hit for almost 790k. Honestly that's not too bad. Right? Once you did pop our diamond flask. That was pretty nice. What if... Uh, config? When we were on full power charges though, we did reach the 1 million DPS. Um, 
fairly good on one intensity and oh wow 1.2 on like wow okay yeah absolutely absolutely the 1 million dps that i always say that i need to feel comfortable with the fight uh we did have it here although not all the time well we did have it all the time if we had the power charges up and if you if you're wondering well, how much did it actually meant to have uh, Freezing Pulse on level 21? That's the difference. 990k? Almost 1.1 million. So that's almost 100,000 DPS. Right. And with the culling, obviously, that, yeah, that makes a huge difference. Right. So, yeah. I mean, that, that was to be expected. If we would have popped all the flasks, right, uh, we would have been <laughs> on like 1.3 million, um, which is awesome, honestly. And all the gear you find in here, this isn't very expensive gear, right? So, yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm absolutely surprised though how this turned out and the little bit of fire damage that we have comes from the staff actually um so we have a little bit of ignite dps mixed in here but that's not too bad it doesn't hurt right it just helps but yeah i mean the inspiration charges you you gain them when you are casting your spell you lose them after a certain amount but you can see they do help sniper's mark really helps our curse and let's talk a little bit about our new anoint which is marked for death you have calling strike against marked enemies which is why i chose it because you always almost always only cast this on a boss or like a unique or rare enemy that just doesn't die fast enough right so there was a sepia an indigo and a silver oil it's not that bad, and you also gain 25% increased damage with hits and ailments, which is important important against the marked enemy. So yeah, that that was a good amount of damage gained against bosses. We did lose a little bit in the clear speed department. But if you think about it, when you run this build in maps, you will have your flasks up, you will have your max power charges. And you have a standard boss. So you're like on 1.5 million DPS. That is comfy, honestly. If you get four intensity stacks on certain bosses, that's really easy to do. You are on 2 million DPS against the standard boss. That's really awesome. You see, against Cyrus, this would mean 1.8 million. It's just not that common. So I always calculate with two or even one, right? But yeah, I think. The build holds up. Honestly, I I love it. It is a success in my books. And there's not too much more to say about it, really. Um, you can see that I invested into Energy Shield Leech a little bit. Uh, just one note. That really helps, though, with sustaining. And yeah, I mean, with better gear, this will be a absolutely viable tier... 14 to 16 farmer. I mean, I'm running those now with this build and I'm blown away by how by how good it actually works. Sure, on the like Shaper Guardians and stuff, yeah, the damage is a bit lackluster if you compare it to other builds. But yeah, this as I said, it's not a boss killer. It is a map farmer. It is a league starter. And with all that in mind, I am proud of this build. And I love how many of you have actually watched the videos about this build. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, for commenting, all the stuff you do. You are awesome. And this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, take care. Bye.